What's up, Weekend Warriors? I'm Chelsea Goodnight, and today's adventure brings us to Robbinsville. We're at Wareloom Honey. Where owners Aaron and Jessica Ware have been making quite a buzz around town. Let's check it out. So Wareloom Honey is just a small business here in Western North Carolina. We started off as beekeepers and it has grown to honey manufacturing. We have a whole line of skincare products and we also manufacture and sell meat, which is a honey wine. We do have another location in Asheville, North Carolina, but all of our manufacturing is done here in Robbinsville. We opened our retail store here in 2015. So we opened up our location in Asheville in 2020, right after the pandemic hit, <laughs> which was a interesting timing. But, um, you know, we're excited to see the potential that, that that location has as well. Yeah, so come on back. This back is here, the workshop. this is the workshop. We make candles, soaps, lotions, lip balms, all in here. Back here, um, all these tanks are filled with honey. 12, maybe 15 tanks. All the honeys we produce here are definitely on the raw side, so they maintain all those health benefits. We have sourwood honey, which is sort of our regional specialty. Oh, very nice. Um, that one, we people coming from far and wide mm -hmm. just to get that honey. Sourwood trees predominantly bloom in the Southern Appalachians, so they, they're unique to this area. And then if we go back in our next room, you can see where all the honey's used to make mead. You know, each tank holds roughly 300 gallons or so. And here's Eric, he's our assistant mead maker. <laughs> so if you want, we can try a little sample off one of the tanks. I would love to try a sample. So right here we have the Dry County Dry. Okay. It's our 11 and percent mead. Um, just three ingredients, honey, water, and yeast. It's our most popular mead. Yeah, that's an amazing flavor. And I can't believe only three ingredients is pretty incredible to make yeah. this. Being a beekeeper, you realize pretty quick there's a lot of effort that goes to collect that honey and to process it. Realizing every little honeybee makes like a sixteenth of a tablespoon of honey. Like that's just pretty amazing. All right, so they're kind of on the, the trunk of a tiny little pine tree. So it's, it's pretty accessible. They're not real high up, so it'll be not too bad to try to catch it. What that'll do is that'll give us a whole new colony of bees that'll eventually grow up to be one of our production colonies. What you're looking at is you are looking at the natural ways bees kind of perpetuate their species. So this is part of their life cycle when they want to divide and take one colony and turn it into two. So that's what they're doing. So what we'll do is we'll clip this um, tree and we'll carry it on up the hill and put it back in the hive. So bees are super pheromone driven too. So the queen has a really unique scent to her. So all of these bees are going to be attracted to that scent. So if we were to miss the queen and she was still on this branch, they would all come right back to her. Oh, wow. So Chelsea, I'm gonna give them this frame. It's got a tiny bit of honey on this side okay. and a little bit more over here on this side. This will just kind of give them a little bit of a head start. Yeah, it's right like a housewarming gift. It is, there you go, <laughs> there you go. I mean, it's just amazing the number of gifts that bees give to humans. So Jessica, do you think that these guys will be appreciative that we've done this for them? <laughs> Just like our mead, now they are home sweet home. Ooh, I think we need a glass. That's amazing. Let's go. All right. Wareloom honey is a far-fetched, unexpected dream. We are the beekeepers. We are the accountants. We are the designers. We've done everything on our own. We moved to Robbinsville, our family did, in 2010. And we didn't ever plan on staying here, but we fell in love with the area. And that year for Christmas, my husband Aaron bought me two beehives. And so two hives became 10, and that became 20, and it became 100 pretty quick. So when you're producing that much honey, we kind of needed a way to support our habit of keeping bees. I love when people come in and they're like, hey, I was inspired. And so I went out and started my own hives. And we had a little boy who came in with his own money and bought a hive. And just to think, think that kind of impact can go a long way. To me, that's, that's pretty amazing. The original Wareloom Honey and Meadery is at 257 Willie Colvin Road in Robbinsville, and they're open daily except Sundays. Their Asheville Tap Room is at 32 Banks Avenue. 
For more information, give them a call at 828-735-2300 or check them out online at whereloom.com.